Alex Pejero versus Jamal Hill is happening at UFC 300 for the UFC light heavyweight champion. Somebody's getting knocked out. Who's going to get knocked out? Well, before we talk about who's going to get knocked out, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Alex Pejero fought Jan in which Jan's grappling, wrestling, and ground game was great. But Alex Pejero brought it back with his amazing striking and outlanded Jan and won by decision. For the winner, by split decision, after this, Alex Pedro went on to fight Yuri Prohoshka, in which I can't wait until the rematch happens because it's gonna happen. In which Alex Pedro dropped Yuri Prohoshka with many leg kicks, both landed some great shots in round one, until Alex Pedro TKO'd Yuri Prohoshka in round two. A big right hand. Now let's take a look at Jamal Hill's latest performances in which he fought Thiago Santos in which Jamal Hill took control of this whole entire fight, landed some great shots, and even T killed Thiago Santos in round four. And case exclamation point on the night. After Jamal Hill went on to fight Glover Tejera in which Jamal Hill brought Glover in round two. He tries to return with oh! Dominate this whole entire fight, Lance, and great combinations, and Jamal Hill ended up taking it by decision. Now, I'm automatically going to say that this fight is not a close fight whatsoever, as I do believe that it's a one-sided fight, and nobody can argue against that, and let me explain why. And that is because considering what Alex Pierre has been able to accomplish in just 11 fights, it's crazy as he became a two-division world champion in the UFC and has beaten tough in the league, guys. Meanwhile, Jamal Hill, who has 13 fights, hasn't been able to come close and accomplish what Alex Pierre has been able to accomplish. But besides that, what I see happening in this fight is complete domination from Alex Pierre as I do believe that what we have seen from Alex Pierre and what he has done and the way he fights, I do believe that Jamal Hill won't be able to handle what Alex Pierre has to offer. For example, Alex Pierre is known for his amazing leg kicks as he throws them and you don't even see him coming and they do a lot of damage. Like how we've seen him do this against Yuri Pahashka and not just his leg kicks, but also when it comes to standing face to face and when it comes to striking as he's also one of the best to ever do it. For example, we have seen Alex Pierre outsmart Sean Strickland and knock him out. And we also have seen him use dangerous combos against fighters like Israel Adesanya and Yuri Pahashka. So that's my prediction. I believe that Alex Pierre will hurt Jamal Hill early on and knock him out. Wow.